Okay, people, let's continue with our model. And let's finish this chain. So we are kind of okay. Everything is all right if we finish the chain. And then after we finish the chain, what we can do is the bottles. Because the bottles will also be kind of a pain to do. But I think, oops, not this. Let me see. Yes, but I think it wouldn't be, ah, probably it will be, it will be as painful as, as the chain, but chain really is pain. And you all saw that, you saw how painful it was to make this chain, but it's not a, it's not a bad thing. Don't get me wrong. It's even, we may even say it's a good thing because, mm, because what doesn't kill me makes me stronger. And that's what we are. We are stronger now. Since we did the chain, we are amazingly stronger. Now my head hurts a little bit. Because I'm a little bit sick. But since it's a little bit, I will endure it. Or I will get a pill. You know, these days, with this chemistry that we have, I think it's not a big issue to take some pills. Sometimes. Sometimes. But we have to be careful with the pills. Because they are not exactly natural. Although, most of the pills, I mean the normal pills like aspirin or something, they get, they get it from natural kind of a, uh, flowers or herbs. But they extract them in a, in a way that, for example, the some narcotics. Now they are narcotics. Back in the days, they were not narcotics. They were drugs, like morphine, for example, or heroin even, which is a huge drug, heroin. Now, but back in the days, it was a, a mir miraculously mir miracle cure. For pain, mostly. Painkiller. Painkiller. Yeah. So things change. There are words in uh, English language. American. That nowadays are pretty much forbidden. That even maybe 10 years ago. It was no problem using them. And not 10. Let's say 20 years ago. And I remember that time, since I'm 40, I remember the time that you can say things that nowadays will be very rude to say, or even illegal. I will not say those, of course, because it's... Uh, we have to be aware of the times, you know. We don't live in the past times, we live in now times, and we have to kind of make sure we are... One with the times. Okay, what's happening here? Let's select this uh, F. Why F is not working here? Okay, now now it's working. Yeah, sometimes I am on on vertices. I have to be on edges or vice versa, and that's why things are. Uh, yeah, this I don't like, obviously. Why? I don't know. Let's see what I, have, what I have done. Okay. G, move it here. Yeah, probably you will not be able to, to see exactly what is this guy doing. How he understands what is happening on his screen. Yeah. Uh, it's practice and it's, it's a lot of practice, basically. Uh, otherwise, you will not be able to understand what's happening. But with practice, of course, you will. You have to just, just try it. And um, in, in the beginning, it will be very frustrating with topology. But at some point, it will become better and better. And I told you, I don't use add-ons for topology. I mean, manual topology, since uh, probably they will save me some time. But 
I don't want people that are not having money to buy add-ons because most of them I think are paid uh, to to say that oh, okay this guy is using add-ons so we, we cannot read apologize everybody can read apologize obviously I'm read apologizing a pretty complex character by hand which is completely valid you can do this of course, some people will say, but they are free, very nice add-ons for the topology. Okay, but I also don't want to um, kind of push people to install add-ons. Except for this add-on, uh, the, the quad remesher, but I cannot do without it. I mean, Blender has to have something like this by default. It's just a simple, normal thing, but it doesn't. So, we have to take it from other places obviously obviously if blender does don't have it by the way here i don't exactly want to go inside so i will go to the high poly and go to sculpt mode and move it closer to the To the color yeah I just will move it closer to the color like this here um, it should be okay in the other places but here in the back I'm not sure we have to have this kind of insert I, I don't want to insert polygons there it's uh, it, it's not good I mean okay edit mode and continue of course here we have to go and select some polygons like this one this one this one Press G and just press G and they will move where they should be. Of course, I uh, overdid it, which is not good. So we have to press G on this one, G on this one, G here. Oops. Okay, not F, but G. Yeah, sometimes I don't know what I'm doing, you know. Just press G. And they will go over also this G, G, G. Yeah, since I moved it, we have to move also those guys. Which is okay. It, it will be better. Now, let's continue. We have to do the whole chain. I mean everything. And after we do the chain, everything else will be a walk in the park. As I probably already said. And walking in the park is a pretty nice thing. I haven't done it in a while, by the way. Yeah, I got a little bit sick uh, uh, maybe a week ago. But as you can see, my sickness is... <laughs> all my sicknesses are like this. I'm kind of okay. But I don't feel completely fine. And then it's gone at some point. Which uh, we have a saying here, and I always say it. When we are at our worst, let it be this. So, however we are now, let it be our worst. Which is, you know, which is good. Okay, this. And here, how to connect all the other things. I don't know exactly, because here, even I cannot understand what's happening. Probably this guy, we will connect with, um, let's say we will connect it with this. Yes. Here. Okay, no. Alright, and here we'll make some interesting connections, like this. F and F. And here, you know, this will never be visible. It, it will never be seen. I mean, this thing here. And I'm wondering how many polygons to put there <laughs> now. And I have, I have to put some, probably. Since I have started this madness. And this, by the way, I, I told you. <laughs> 
This may look like madness. To really apologize this much. <coughs> or to really apologize such much. Sorry for the coughing, but... You know, since I'm coughing, what can I do? Yeah, I can pause the video and cough and then unpause it. But it will be lying to you. It will be lying that I'm not coughing. Which I am. So it's not good. Okay, here it's problematic because it has to have a hole. So let's make it a hole. Let's make it a hole which is absolutely unnecessary. But I will make it just so I'm a little bit safe that I have a hole. <laughs> I don't know. I completely don't know what's happening here. Let's try this and F. No, this and F. Yes. Hopefully it's, oh, God, damage. Press J. Okay, now it's fine. And now we have something like a hole, which is fine. Yeah, and the, probably some of you will say, but uh, God damage is not exactly the, the saying, the saying is something else. I don't want to curse, and I just say what my my daughter, she's cursing like this. She said, God damn it. <laughs> Which is very cute, I know. Yeah. She's a cutie. For me. For some people, she could be the ugliest, the ugliest kid around, but for me, she is so cute. Yeah, it's maybe strange, but I like my daughter. I know, it's... Pff, who likes their daughter? No. But I'm strange anyway, it's okay. Okay, here we have a big issue. Because you know, I, I cannot understand what's happening here, really, really. Sometimes even I can't. And then, when we make the low poly, the, the UVs, it will be completely ununderstandable. Absolutely. Alt N flip. Oh. Alt N flip. Okay. <laughs> something is here, something is there, something is flipped, something is not. Whatever. It should be fine. Now I will connect those. Or. Yeah, why not? Or no, those. Yes. This and this. F. I think we maybe uh, kind of solved the puzzle. Although it will be seen a little bit later when we start the UVs. Here there will be hell. Just, just complete awesome hell. I will delete this and then make just one triangle from here to here. Although this, why it's this here? It shouldn't be. I mean. This is nothing. It shouldn't exist. I will delete it. Now it's better. And I will connect those. And here we have a hole. Which, by the way, <laughs> you know, I will leave the hole there. Yeah. Yeah. I will leave this hole because it's not visible. It will never be seen. So I don't care. I really, really, I re really don't care. Basically, no. I'm trying to find some care about that somewhere here. No care. Not even a little bit of care. Not even one care. No. If they tell me, do you care about this hole or Putin? I will say, I care about Putin more. Oh, well. Maybe I care about this hole a little bit more. Um, yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't hate that guy? I mean, <laughs> basic. Uh, what he does. Amazing. Yeah, by the way, I'm not sure. Probably in the Second World War. 
maybe they thought about Hitler the same. Who knows? But Hitler, I don't think he had atom bombs. He was crazy. Yeah. He has this uh, kind of, because sh he was short, Putin is also short. He has this, uh, uh, Napoleon is also short. All those guys, they have these complexes. Uh, I'm short, I have to prove myself. They have to, they will see what I can do. I'm the best. And yeah, short guys. Mm. Problems, you know. I'm trying to think of a conqueror, world conqueror, or someone who tries to run the world who was tall. Stalin, I think he was short. Hitler, short. Putin, short. Mm -hmm. And also, Hitler was an unsuccessful artist. So we have to be careful. Be a successful artist. Otherwise, the world can suffer. Uh, this is something else I'm doing. It's not irrelevant. It's irrelevant because it's freelance. Yeah, and freelance I'm doing in Blender too. So I told you already. Blender freelance forever. Amazing. Let's see. So, 1,700 triangles until here. This, the one arm and the chain. We haven't finished the chain yet, which is... Wow, this chain is so, I mean, I'm, I'm mad. I will make this with one polygon here, one super huge polygon, because there is not no detail in this area, so one polygon will be completely enough. Watch and learn, this is uh, very important. You don't need, and also, at some places like here, for example, I can go and connect this and this, like this, for example. I can do that, but I chose not to. And many people will say, but you can do that. Why don't you do that? Uh, I don't want. Sometimes uh, it will lead to more problems than it will solve problems, which is why I chose to not do this. But many people will say, but you couldn't, you could do that. I mean, why don't you relax? It's okay. I got you, no problem, it's fine. I got everything under control. Maybe not the war in Ukraine, but I have mm, everything in the 3D character here under control. For now. And uh, when we start to, to retopologize, uh, not we are start, <laughs> we have started, but uh, when we start the UVs, then the things can get a little bit out of control, and but we'll, we will make them to go back into control. And then, uh, when we go to to bake, uh, baking will be the most uh, kind of a annoying thing. Sometimes I export my low poly, I export my high polys or high poly, it depends. Sometimes they are more meshes than one. But whatever, I export them, I go to Substance Painter, I start to bake, I bake, I see problems. I go, fix problems. Bake again, see more problems. Go back, fix problems. Bake again, see more problems. Go back. And I do this sometimes 10, 11 times, maybe more. It depends. Because some problems are pretty difficult to kind of work out. There are certain problems that even I haven't ever encountered, and uh, when I encounter them, it's bad. I don't completely like it. Okay. Shift C. Uh, because I, I accidentally put the 3D pivot where my mouse was, which I wasn't, I didn't want to do this. Sometimes we just do things that we don't want to do. 
let's go and remove in front just to see what is happening and by the way now uh, you may notice uh, i mean you may not notice but we are okay with our poly count it's not problematic in my opinion and if i think so if i think that it's not problematic probably it's not problematic i would know since i have done a lot of these characters for this game for this particular game more than 15 probably of course only one was with blender up to this point this is the second one i do in blender for this game but the one i did in blender i already told you in the previous video it was the right boss that will be in the game uh in two weeks probably i mean while you're watching this video probably it's already in the game the right boss it's amazing it's one big big huge boss with uh, four arms and uh, he is very evil uh and he's killing your troops just like super easy but uh game design we cannot say anything it's completely normal okay clicking 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 a lot i don't know if you are hearing my clicks but i'm clicking a lot i'm click 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 uh, if my microphone is yeah you are hearing directly from my microphone so probably you, you hear my clicks but in the nvidia broadcast software there is an option to, to kind of hide your clicks you you can really and it's working very well. You can hide them. Which I don't think it's necessary in this kind of... Yeah. Press G, go here. Select. Press M, at center. No. Probably no. At M, at center. Okay, what's happening here? Uh, okay, select this and this. M, at center. Now it's okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, we probably need to connect those. Or at least make one connection with a triangle. F. And then connect this and this. M at center. And then connect this with F. And it's over. Of course, uh, here they are not exact. And they are not completely covered i mean the forms with polygons but i think this is enough for our purposes and hopefully i'm right if i'm not right we will all suffer especially me of course because i'm doing the character you are just watching so i will suffer mostly so don't worry about it i will suffer you will be okay everything is fine everything is amazing now I will disable, I will enable in front and I will disable the solidify modifier and I will work. Work. Now, uh, the, the chain is officially over. Wow, we have a big hole in here. I'm pressing F, but it doesn't work. So probably it's, it has a polygon, but it's turned. Let's see. Ooh, what is this? X faces. F. Now it's good. So I deleted the, the whole face that was problematic and I made a new one. And everything is amazing. Now, from, the, from now on, from here, it's pretty easy to continue. So I will go to the front where it's not that easy to continue. And, uh, yeah, let's continue from here, because we don't need the easy thing, you know. The easy way out is easy. We don't want that. We want the hard. Yeah. And now I can really go to this kind of bolts or whatever, rivets or whatever, and make them separately and put them there. It will not be a huge problem. It could be a little bit of a problem for animators, but not a huge one. But I don't do that because, you know, I I like to kind of prove to myself that I can do it by hand. 
I mean from one mesh. That's what I mean by by hand. I mean from one mesh, uh, which I don't know. It's fine. I like it. Okay, let's connect this and this and press J. Uh, yeah, this is fine. F to here. Then this. And yeah, after we finish with the bottles and this part of the chain here, the front part, it will be just a walk in the park, as I told you already a couple of times. Yeah, I know, I know I'm repeating myself, but uh, you have to excuse me, my brain is a little bit messed up since, you know, when you are sick, just a little bit sick, but you feel that you don't want to work, you don't want to do anything, you just want to lie down and sleep, you, you just even don't want to play a game, which is awful, I know. Or read a book, nothing, nothing, you just want to do nothing. And what, I'm, what am I doing? I'm recording. Why? Because responsibility, I have to do it, you know. Since I have the responsibility to uh, get this character to a point that it's finished because I work for a company and this company wants results. If I don't give them the results, I will go and probably they will kill me. No, of course not. No. What? 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 No. But you never know. You never know if you don't know. You never shine if you don't glow. Huh? Wow, amazing. But it's not mine. I mean, this is from, I think, Limbiskit. No. Hey, now, you're a rock star. Which came on. Yeah, playing. Um, Smash Mouth? Smash, Smash, something like this. I'm not sure. Sorry if uh, somebody's find this problematic that I misinterpret or misplaced the this band. It was Smash Mouth, I think. Hey now, you're a rock star, but you came on, get played. Hey now, you're an all-star. <laughs> oh, that little thing goes. Yeah, it's not Limp Bizkit. Definitely it's not. Uh, whatever. But it could be, right? Well, yeah. It could be Limp Bizkit. By the way, here I'm not uh, completely covering this with polygons. So, uh, I mean, I'm not going exactly on the right path. But now I will be like this. And probably this will be one polygon. This will be another. And here we will go down. You see professional, how professional I'm doing this. Notice that. Uh, you can be professional as me when you do like 50 characters, retopologize them, and you will be as professional. By the way, if some of you wants to practice retopology, I can give you some of my high polis and you, you can retopologize them. But I don't recommend it. In my opinion, you should do this. Do a character as fast as you can. I mean, for three days, f four days, five days, do a character, high poly, finish it. And then do retopology. When you finish the retopology and UVs, the problem is you have to bake and everything because all those steps are important. And since this is a long process, uh, when you finish the process and when you finish the character, it will be a month, for example. For me, it's not a month, but uh, for for young people or new people, it will be probably a month. And at the end of this time, you will be you will forget a lot of the things, and you will have to kind of okay. I'll have to start from the beginning, and you start. And you do this and this and this and this. And at the end, you forget the first steps. And you have to do it a lot of times in order to, you know. But since I have this, this series, 
you can always go and see what was this step, what we were doing in this step, what, what, what. Aha! Uh -huh. This was this. All right, all right, I can do it, I can do it, no problem. And you will do it, basically. At least, hopefully. Here, I'm not sure. Maybe I will move this a little bit up. So it, it's halfway up. I don't want to make this lip. This little lip in here, I don't want to make it. I will just move this a little bit and uh, hope for the best. Or I will make it. I'm not sure. Sometimes I uh, think, oh, I will not do it. And then I do it because I know that I will add like 10 more polygons. But it will look much better. Uh, which is... Uh, I think I know what to do. I think I know. So, let, let's try. Let's a little bit try of something. So, press K. Connect this to this. Press Enter. And then move this with G a little bit here. Closer to the edge. Closer to the edge. Another was a break. Oh no. Oh no. It's bad. It's so bad. I don't like this. So I will not do it. It's not going as planned at all. So let's uh, not do it. This will be fine. I mean, it's okay. So, since this is a big kind of a thing on his chest, so it will be visible uh, when we look at our character in the shop, it will be pretty visible. That's why I'm doing it with so many polygons. I'm putting a lot of polygons in here. So, yeah. Today, in this video, I mean, we have put more than 200 triangles, which is not ultra big number, of course. But it's kind of a lot. Of course, it's not a lot. It's uh, it's so little amount of polygons, but I told you. When we are working on these chains and stuff, it's difficult and uh, it's slow. But after that, we will be as fast as uh, me and Beth, for example. So fast. So be careful, or be afraid. Maybe it's okay to be afraid. You can be afraid, why not? Fear is not a bad thing. I mean, it keeps us alert and keeps us on our toe, toes, not on our toe. Uh, it keeps us on our toe if we have only one toe. For example, from kind of a war or some kind of accident, you just have one toe and it keeps us on your toe. Then, you know. But most people keeps us on our toes. Couple of them we have. Yeah. I know my jokes uh, most of the time are pretty silly, and sometimes even stupid. I'm absolutely aware of that. If you think that I'm not aware, you will you will think that. <laughs> This guy is not aware how stupid are his jokes sometimes. And uh, the guy is just uh, looking as, at his own uh, toe because he has only one. And for him, this joke will be pretty stupid, I know. But uh, for most people, it uh, probably it's okay. Yeah. Last. And then here, I will add those. Let's see how fast or how... Difficult will be, uh, let me just put this here, and here down here we'll make a triangle. Uh, how difficult it will be to make, let me, let's see, I'm talking like an American now. So let's see how difficult it would be to make the bottles. Now, uh, American, very nice. I would like to speak like American. Why? Because... Because my accent will be gone. I mean, this accent, the Slavic accent. Many people are thinking, oh, you have a Russian accent. Bitch, please. 
Serbians have this accent. Romanians also, which they are not Slavs basically, but they have similar accent. Uh, Bulgarians, yes. Hungarians, not. I think I don't think Hungarians have it. Although Hungarians are no, they are not Slavic. I think. Did I mess up? They are Slavic. Hungarians, I'm not sure. Uh, but Polish is Slavic, definitely. And Czechs are Slavs, also. Same accent as me. Of course, some of them, as some of Bulgarian Bulgarians, have pretty good English. But it's very rare. It's very rare. Even in young people. To have a very nice English. It's pretty rare, I may say. Uh, I'm sorry to say that, but it's true. Mm, young people just don't care, or I'm not sure. They are pretty, you know. My son, for example, he's 12 and almost 13. And yeah, after half a year, he was so 12 and a half. And at some point, he started to watch mostly YouTube videos about Brawl Stars. It's a mobile game, if uh, some of you don't know. But Brawl Stars is one of the most famous mo mobile games here in Bulgaria. And he started to watch videos about it. I will merge those. And uh, he kind of started to be good in English from that because he watched them. And I learned the most from this kind of things, from YouTube videos, from the things I needed to learn. For example, when I was young, I wanted to be a web designer, but to make web pages, and I don't only made the web pages, I made them. Basically, I wrote them in Notepad from scratch. That's why I needed to learn HTML and CSS. Those are, they are not exactly languages, but uh, they are used to make web pages. Nowadays, everything is mostly automatic, but it's so much fun to know HTML, to write something in a notepad, to save it as an HTML file. So you basically open a fresh notepad file, empty, and you start writing um, body uh, something. No, body was uh, later. HTML, some tags. And when you save it as HTML and double click it, it will open in your browser as a web page. And you can put pictures, you can put videos, you can put uh, stuff. I mean, it's very, very interesting to make. And how I learned to do that? By reading. Mostly reading. And you will say, but why don't you watch YouTube videos? Because when I learned that, uh, YouTube uh, was not, not existent. This was around the year 2001. And YouTube, I think, started 2005. So, Google was existent. They existed. Uh, because they are started at uh, 1998 or 1999. Not sure exactly. Just uh, with the war in Yugoslavia. Where our friends from United States just made a very good impact there. Uh, I mean, I'm joking, It's not. it was not very good impact. It was an all-out uh, kind of a bombardment of cities. Um, I don't know if it was something that was supposed to be good for the people uh, which they bombarded, because uh, I know some people that were bombarded back then, and they were, weren't feeling very happy about it. They say it was super scary, they hide in the basements, and uh, there were people that were killed, their families, their relatives and stuff. So it, it's not, it's never a good thing, war. But at least they didn't uh, go there with troops and uh, try to do something stupid, like some people we know today, but yeah. 
let the, the Russians or Americans here in the channel don't uh, kind of uh, get it too much on their own because it's not their fault. They are not the ones that are making these decisions. And also most of you probably weren't born by then. Some of you weren't born. And uh, you don't know. I mean, you, you didn't choose even your leaders back then because you were young. So whose fault is that? You know, America as a country, it watches only and only its own interest, as any empire, empire will do. And America is kind of an empire, yeah, we can say that. It dictates everything around the globe, uh, kind of. Russia tries to be an empire too. And once it was, nowadays, uh, not anymore. But our guy, our short guy, he's trying to, you know, make it work. Is he gonna succeed? Uh, who knows? He has uh, nuclear power, so... Uh, never in the history of mankind uh, the, the guy like Napoleon or Hitler has had nuclear weapons. So we don't know what could happen now. It's completely unknown. And that's the interesting part, by the way. Yes, it's dangerous. Yes, it's frightening a little bit. But it's interesting. And why... I am. I, I told you in the last video that uh, I'm not exactly afraid, because there's no point to be afraid of that. Of that exactly, because either you're afraid or not. If it happens, it will change absolutely nothing. So we better not be afraid. We better be kind of happy. Be happy uh, while you are on this earth, and that's my advice. Again, again for the second time, I think. This is my advice. Until I'm ready to apologize in battles. Remember, uh, those who read to apologize bottles are wise. Yeah. I know. I know this is uh, very deep. And uh, yeah, that's very deep. I know. It's, it's fine. It's fine. You don't need to cry. It's fine. I'm. It's okay. We'll deal with it. Everything will be fine. Here I. I don't know if I have to do this whole by the way, but if I do it, and if it turns out to be nice. Nice hole. What? If you meet a girl. And you say, "Huh, nice hole." I don't think it will be the best thing you can say. So nice hole is sounds a little bit uh, not good for, to me at least. I will yeah I will try to make the the hole better here. So I'll put a little bit more polygons. I will go this, and from here we will extrude to this point here, which probably should be this F. Okay, 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 we did it, we did it. All right, all right, all right, all right. I don't know. Maybe this will go like this. And here, probably, we will take this and connect it with this. Yeah. Why not? I mean, well, it's fine. This looks, this, this looks nice. <laughs> this looks nice. Or this looks noise. Yeah, it uh, it's not the best, and also this doesn't cover the polygons very nicely. But I think it will bake pretty good. So that's the main idea. Okay, we have only six minutes left until we reach the fifty minutes mark. I try not to make them a lot more than fifty minutes. Also. There is a Discord channel 
that people are waiting for me. Some Arab people from Morocco, Egypt and other countries that know Arab, they made a channel about 3D character art in Discord and uh, they invited me there. Ah, and I say, why not? And they want me to go and see uh, some kind of, they have some kind of event now happening, but I told them I will record. And that's what I'm doing, but uh, after I finish, I promise that I will go. So hopefully they haven't finished with the with the event. By the way, when one of the guys told me that he's from Morocco, I said I want to go there because I want to go there. Morocco is one of my uh, destinations. I want to go. Also the Philippines, but it's not Arab country, so it's... I don't say that I, I want to go only on Arab countries, but I uh, go to Egypt almost every year. Of course, I don't go to Egypt, Egypt. I go to Hurghada, which is a pretty touristic place. But I like it. The climate there is very nice in the, in the winter. Because here in Bulgaria, where I live, is winter. And in Egypt is kind of a spring. Very cool. Here is minus, uh, I'm not sure how much, but there in Egypt is plus 25 in the day and a lot of sun. Especially in Hurghada, you have a lot of sun. By the way, uh, in Hurghada, it rains once in a year, for example, or something like this. And when we get there uh, in the new year, it was raining. I mean, one day it rains. But it rained kind of a pretty hard at some point. And they were not used to that. And all the streets were full with water because they don't have uh, this kind of systems to irrigation systems or whatever they called. They don't have that as much as we have here because they don't have rain. And their houses also don't have this kind of uh, things to get the water out. And they are not exactly prepared for rain because it's desert. Uh, they don't have rain there that much but when it rains it's a problem on the the next day of the rain on the airport it was complete chaos something happened with their servers the all the terminals were not working nothing electronic was kind of working there in the airport it was a miracle that we managed to go back home but since this happens very rarely nobody cares and uh, many people will say, but how can they do that? Uh, many people from more kind of uh, countries that are more well developed. But I come from a country which is kind of the same. So I understand them completely. In Bulgaria, if it works, don't touch it. I mean, if it breaks, just fix it and continue. Sometimes. You don't want to mess up the things. But uh, as I told you, it's, it's normal if you come from this kind of country. Uh, we are, Bulgaria, I mean, my country is a former uh, communist country. It, we were in the communist rule for 45 years, I think. One guy ruled us for all that time, almost. And it was kind of a dictatorship, but not uh, the cruel one, not the cruel type. Because I remember kind of those times a little bit. I was small, but I remember and I have watched movies. And uh, of course, my parents, my grandparents, they told me about it. It was not super bad, but there was no freedom. And many, many people escaped because there was no freedom. They wanted to, to have freedom to think, to have freedom to develop themselves, to develop their skills and um, to do something with those skills. And communist rule, you cannot. You are like everybody else. If you, are, if you have more ambitions and you are more like, uh, you know, cunning, you will be from the communist party. And you will develop yourself in the Communist Party and become big in the Communist Party. And uh, you will have money. And you will have 
Western goods. Because, yeah. Western goods were uh, amazing to have back in the days. I mean, I remember uh, people that are going uh, with the trucks. Because, after all, we have some export of some goods. And uh, those people that are driving the trucks, the truck drivers were the richest. Because they have foreign currency, they have dollars, and they buy, they bought stuff from abroad. And when they come back, their kids were uh, having the best clothes, the best uh, toys. Uh, my father, uh, unfortunately, maybe, or fortunately, I don't care, he was a military guy, I told you. And yeah, we didn't have any of those things, but I didn't care about uh, material things back then. I cared about my art. I mean, it was not my art. I was just drawing. Just simple drawing. Nothing too much. Just drawing some muscle or man or some comics I was trying to do. Maybe someday I will find some of my older stuff. And some of them have even dates on them. So we can see how old I was and how, how I was doing with drawing. It will be nice. But for now, we have to finish this video. And we are at four... What? 4,000 triangles already? What have we done? <gasps> what is this? Why is this here? <laughs> we messed up the pants? Hmm. The pants are part of this now. Which... I don't think I did it. And why is this? Why are they connected? It's very interesting. Uh, what can we do? By the way, we can use these pants, really. But uh, the bad thing is that I have to select them. And I have to try to separate them. Separate selection. Oh, it happened. Huh. It remembered that it has uh, the... Wow. <laughs> Remember that it has the multi rest modifier. I thought that I will have to uh, take it from another file because I have a file for each video, which is good. That's why I'm not uh, so, uh, you know, I didn't uh, get frustrated because I know that yeah, I will take it from another file and I will put it here, no problem. But it was interesting. So, 2000 and almost 300 polygons for this, the most. Uh, difficult parts so in the next video we will continue with the difficult parts a little bit then we'll continue down to the belt which is also kind of difficult part and the rest will be very easy except maybe for the nails in here which probably i will put back to a little bit more together so we can surround the polygons much easier but this will be for now bye